Welcome to EV News Roundups, where we talk about the latest and exciting developments in the EV industry. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and like our content, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. So what makes news this week? Report holds that BMW's upcoming Gen 6 battery tech could offer 620 miles of range. Tesla to drop plans for Giga Berlin battery cell plant. General Motors announced on Thursday that it's investing $491 million in its Marion stamping facility in Marion, Indiana. According to Germany's Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action, Tesla is expected to invest 5 billion euros in the battery project. Nonetheless, the manufacturer withdrew its application for European Union subsidies provided to enterprises to assist the region in reducing Chinese imports. Because battery systems are the most expensive single component in most EVs, developing more economical, high-performance packs is critical to producing cheaper electric vehicles that compete on sticker costs with ICA counterparts. The new U.S. tax credits included in the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into law last month, include $35 per kilowatt hour for each battery cell manufactured in the United States. The law also affords $10 per kilowatt hour for domestically produced modules and additional assistance for companies making raw and intermediate battery materials in the U.S. Additionally, the law provides $10 per kilowatt hour for domestically produced modules and additional help for enterprises manufacturing raw and intermediate battery materials in the United States. According to researchers, the production tax credits could offset more than a third of the cost of EV battery packs if the rechargeable cells are manufactured and packaged in the United States. Consumers who purchase EVs under the IRA are also eligible for a $7,500 rebate if the vehicles meet specific domestic production conditions. Tesla is currently scaling up production of model by electric SUVs at its new plant in Grunheide, near Berlin. According to a recent DPA report, the carmaker plans to produce 5,000 automobiles per week by the first quarter of 2023. Tesla is apparently postponing plans to manufacture battery cells at Giga Berlin in Germany to qualify for US EV and battery manufacturing tax subsidies. According to the Wall Street Journal, which cites people familiar with the situation, Tesla hopes to profit from tax breaks available to automakers who manufacture EV components, including batteries, in the United States. Tesla intended to develop a battery factory next to the Grunheide Vehicle Assembly Plant with a capacity of more than 50 gigawatt hours per year. According to the story above, Tesla is now considering transferring equipment for battery production in Germany to the United States instead. The automaker is already planning to increase in-house battery production with test projects in California and a production site in Texas. According to the business paper, the rising cost of energy prices in Europe due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine could possibly play a role in Tesla's decision. While Tesla has yet to respond to the Wall Street Journal claim, German economy minister Robert Habeck stated earlier today that he was unaware of any changes to Tesla's intentions in Germany. Meanwhile, BMW's upcoming Gen 6 battery tech to offer 620 miles of range. Last week, details about BMW's next-generation battery technology were revealed, stating that it will boost range and charging speed, among other things. The future battery technology will provide an amazing 620 miles of electric driving range. BMW just introduced its forthcoming Gen 6 cells, which are set to hit the market in 2025. The cylindrical cells offer numerous advantages over the present Gen 5 prismatic cells, which are flat. According to Autocar, BMW head of Efficient Dynamics, Thomas Albrecht, stated that the Gen 6 battery technology gives at least 30% more range, and while BMW could add even more range, it will cap it. He told the publication, quote, Gen 6 batteries will give us 30% or more range than our current Gen 5, but we won't go over 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles of range, even though we can. We don't think that such a long range is necessary. End of quote. According to the publication, BMW Gen 6 battery packs might be 10 to 20% lighter than the Gen 5 packs now utilized in the brand's EVs. The new cell design also allows for a thinner battery pack than the existing style, and the pack will essentially function as part of the body structure of the EV it inhabits. Marie Therese von Servick, BMW's head of the battery cell department, stated, With this next generation of battery, we will be much more flexible with how we integrate the cell. 
the whole vehicle is becoming more adaptive towards that. Autocar stated that the Gen 6 battery pack would enhance DC fast charging times by up to 30%. Furthermore, future BMW EVs equipped with the new battery will offer 270 kilowatt fast charging. Albrecht also told Autocar that while the US would most likely require an EV battery to retain 80% performance over 10 years, BMW's battery technology is already predicted to perform better. General Motors invests $491 million at Marion, Indiana's Marion Stamping Factory. The automaker disclosed the investment on Thursday. The $491 million will be used to prepare the plant to create steel and aluminum stamping parts for the automaker's future vehicles, including electric vehicles. The stamped parts from the location will be used in automobiles built at other GM assembly plants. According to the Detroit Free Press, GM's investment will be used to purchase and install two new press lines, complete press and die enhancements and building renovations at the Marion site. The site would also receive a 6,000-square-foot expansion. The stamping facility is planned to be completed over the next four months. GM's Marion facility opened in 1956 and produced sheet metal parts for several automakers' assembly plants. Stamped parts made in Marion are utilized in Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac vehicles. The Marion facility currently employs approximately 750 people. General Motors has determined to go all-in on electric vehicles, but it trails behind its old foe Ford. GM has manufactured the Chevy Bolt EV, Bolt EUV, and GMC Hummer EV. The Hummer EV is still being made in limited numbers, while the Bolt has had its reputation knocked following a high-profile recall. On the other hand, Ford has gained much traction with the Mustang Mach-E and F-150 Lightning, two EVs that both buyers and critics have warmly welcomed. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and send us your thoughts. Leave a comment on an EV you'd like us to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching.